Good afternoon, hate pouring community. I am just going to um, do another quick little pour for you. This is on a 30 by 40 centimeter canvas. It's been pre gessoed uh, with my jumbo push bins in. I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna try and put a link to where I get those push pins because I've just been asked for them so often. Um, the jumbo ones, which are really great to use for these pours. I am again going to do a really simple pour and swipe um, out of some colors I have here. I'll, I'll tell you what they are as I go along and hopefully put the colors up down below um, this video. If you click on the link to my description down below you'll find my pouring medium and such and you'll find a link through there to my Instagram page and my Facebook art page so yeah it's using up a few colors again today so going to start with this navy I had left so I'm going to um, yeah just use up some colors again so this is a navy I am definitely within the next week if not the next day or so I'm going to do a video for you just on mixing some custom colors so it's like how you can make this navy how you make crimson I've got I've got a few other colors how you can make metallic paints um, so I've just got a few ideas in mind that I would do for you um, So I'm going to do that so I hope uh, Please indicate whether it would be of interest or help to any of you to learn how to do some custom colors Make some colors so you don't have to rely then on the colors, you know trying to find them so yeah, just um, put in your comments or let me know on my um, acrylic acrylic art by Julie Q. I'm having a senior moment again as my husband would say <laughs> just going to actually tilt this around a bit these colors actually go lovely together uh, the first one obviously was the navy and the second one is uh, metallic copper I'm just just tilting it around the canvas just to cover the canvas basically before I layer any more colors on it I'm just gonna see if this actually create helps create any kind of different outcome than I would normally get I mean I will still tilt it when I have the other colors on I've actually sold paintings with just two or three colors layered the way I layer them then um, tilted and then left basically like that um, I had a customer just want that look so it's quite funny what some people love and and consider finish to what others <laughs> don't okay I'm going to put last bit of burnt umber that I have left in there before it goes completely yucky I'm just going to pour that around the edge so most of it will get poured off anyway but just putting it in there because I'm going to add turquoise and turquoise and the burnt umber go lovely so do the navy so, so that was the burnt umber I'm going to add some gold now which is the antique gold as you can see all these colors go lovely the burnt umber and navy gold and the metallic copper they're lovely together okay going to put then to lift it I'm going to put this turquoise so this is another Montmartre paint which I've been very happy with 
and then just so overjoyed that you can actually get this in America too for a reason, really reasonable price. So that's wonderful. Oh, I think this is going to be a goodie. Really got a good feeling about this, as you do. So that just looks delicious, delicious, delicious. Now, this is a little bit of black, but I'm not going to pour it on. I'm just going to do the little wave over it. I don't want it to overtake in any shape or form, but I just thought I'd put a bit in there. As I say, it's what my heart leads me to pour on the day. Don't set out with colours in mind. I just look at them and think, no, this is what I shall do today. So, and I just want to again thank you so much to the people that have subscribed to my YouTube channel and watch my videos. I am so thankful for the lovely comments that I get from you all and the replies that it's helped you, you in this endeavour to do this, you know, very rewarding art. It's relaxing, it's therapeutic, it's beautiful when you finish a piece and you're really happy with it, but even more so if you can give it as a gift or you can, obviously if you can sell it, that's absolutely wonderful. Oh, that's so nice actually. That turquoise in there just gives it that lift. Trying to, uh, when you're tilting your paint around the canvas, just keep it mindful to keep recentering so you don't get the paint all at one end. Actually creates a really nice painting all on its own, like this. Like I've said, I've seen so many art in um, really expensive art galleries where the stage of the liquid art, fluid art was like this sell for thousands and thousands of dollars so it's really nice I'm going to recenter it that navy and the well actually they all look gorgeous oh, I've got a little fly having a hitchhike already go away said to my husband, he's got to put me some kind of screen door on my, well, it was my garage that he has kindly allowed me to convert into um, my art room, which I'm, I shouldn't say allowed me to because it's, it's a woman's place, it's, it's any, any part of it's both of us. <laughs> but was hearing some women say that their husbands absolutely didn't want them to um, have any part in their garages or sheds and quite can get quite nasty about their wives t taking up part of what they consider their space. Um, just have to tell your husband at any time you want to take up space in my kitchen or take up space cleaning bedrooms, bathrooms and toilets, then you're more than welcome. I think they might change. I'm going to put a bit more of this turquoise in here, but just as a swirly thing. Those colours, so gorgeous together. Really beautiful, really beautiful. See if I can do a close-up for you. Because, oh, actually, I'll just lift it to you. It should be fine. The colours are just... I think it's the copper as well in there that's really really making it really lush sort of really classy it's already started to um, get cells all on its own there I just give it another whirl with the gold oh my goodness you know you just love something so much that you do yeah very lucky very lucky aren't we to find an art form that actually enjoy and that gives us happiness and therapy all at the same time okay now this was a white that had gone a bit 
thin well, well I tried to thin it then it went too much so what I did is I added um, some gold to the white which I always like adding a bit of gold to my white so it's not white white but it's not gold either so it's kind of turned out like a creamy color so that's what I'm going to swipe with today I'm gonna swipe with this and I'm going to do it down the center of my work today okay I don't want to do very thick line at all getting stuck to everything get your trusty swipe tool of course my trusty swipe tool is the uh, plastic file divider great because it has a little bit of weight to help you drag the paint but it also um, is light enough not to take the paint off it I might start here so just let your probably a centimeter of your swipe tool lean into the paint and just gently gently draw it to you I do wipe off in between every um, swipe so you keep your swipe tool nice and clean it doesn't um, then it'll stop it going muddy underneath or help prevent any muddiness of your paint yeah, I just want to thank you all so much for the absolute positive and wonderful uh, comments that I've been getting. I'm just so grateful, so grateful that you take the time to watch the videos and more than anything, I'm just happy if I can help you. Okay, thank you. There you go, this particular one, I'm liking the look of before the swipe <laughs> so it may be one of those things that I don't like it after the swipe but I'm sure it will come to life once it's torched and, and just all the magic begins just right I am I am just trying to go around the back of it so don't panic if you miss a bit like that just just swipe it down because once you've torched it'll um, be fine absolutely fine yeah I don't want to lose that richness that it looked so I mean torching it we'll see how it comes I probably um, If you were doing this particular pour with those colours, I would suggest that you put even a finer line of the swipe colour because you can see how much it's taken over. Okay, I've got my butane torch and I'm going to, um, yeah, put some heat on it and see what we can bring up. Particularly liking this as I did before I swiped so that doesn't really um, I know it's got it always develops the white will start to outline all of those cells and stretch oh yeah some really nice things happening there but probably liked it before I swiped that's what do you think it's got some gorgeous cells I mean the cells within cells and like you can see that's almost happening before your eyes that the swipe color becomes an outline around the cells and and kind of gives the cells an effect of floating but this is completely gone a cell city it's completely um, Celled up, so it's obviously because these particular paints have sat there quite a few days. Um, like I said, I make them up definitely 24 hours at minimum before I do my pour, and I cover them with a wet tea towel, a damp tea towel. So that's the look of that. What I might do is take a few photographs of it, so I'll put them at the end of the video so you can see a before 
and then I'll put a few photos at the end of the video when it's um, found its place and separated and then I'll put a few photos because I'm going to balloon dip this balloon kiss this because I want those colors back that I had to start with they're sort of um, been lost a bit but we'll see and I'll put that on the end of this video too the balloon kissing I'll just give a bit of a close-up again oh sorry about that shake it shaking Stevens yeah it's not really clear there but some gorgeous cells sort of gem gem like cells but yeah okay I'm just getting on now to do a few balloon kissing on this particular um, piece uh, see what I come up with I think that's all in frame for you I'll just um, go and tell my husband to be quiet John Just hushed him he'll love that not <laughs> okay I'm just gonna see if I can bring those lovely colors back up and give them some life because it's kind of yeah gone a bit crazy there so we'll give the balloon just gently pushing it in you and wipe after each dip okay some of the colours are coming back through. Ooh, I like it when the navy comes through, that's nice. Husband thinks it's hilarious, like talking to myself. <laughs> Don't say a word, I'm telling you. <laughs> she gets her 20,000 words here. <laughs> yeah. I'll get my 20,000 words out and it's not hurting his ears, so he's happy. <laughs> oh dear. So I have your approval, husband? Did yes, you like darling. that? Yeah, yes, darling, yeah. <laughs> his famous last words. <laughs> yes, yeah, I'll get off me, don't you see? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is bringing some of the darker colours through, which actually looks nice against the uh, white. That was the white with gold, remember, that we put in. Yeah, it sort of does lift it somehow and gives it a better effect. Much better, I believe. I'll take a bit of this light colour and pop it where it's got a bit of dark. That's nice. Well, I believe that's I said you can give it a bit of a balloon roll which is put it in and roll it yeah I don't want to do too much more I think that's got to be my last one hasn't it she said okay I might Well, in my opinion, I think that is better than it was just left without the balloon. Oh, uh, yeah, without the balloon. But ultimately, I think the very bit before I swiped was actually the nicest part of this particular canvas. But that's my opinion. Um, either way, it's still a very, very nice. Just try and lift it for you to see. Let's see if he gets a little bit of hollow in the canvas, just there we go. So colours probably more on trend with having the beige, browns, golds, taupe and the navy in it. It's still very nice. That would look like if that was on a huge canvas, that would certainly be a seller people seem to like big canvases obviously they're gonna fill a nice big wall in their home but that's really nice so yeah let me know what you think about that whether you liked it um, with the layers before I swiped before a torch just give me opinion 
constructive opinion. If you don't like what I've done at all, just move on, please. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching and see you again next time. Wait at the end of this video for me to, I'll put some dry, oh, sorry about that. I'll put some dry photos of it dried so you can see if it spreads out a little bit more. But um, thank you for subscribing. Little red button down at the bottom of this video. And thanks so much for watching my videos. Really appreciate it.